Good afternoon, uh, children. Today, I am going to take up a poem that is uh, on children. That is about you. On children is a poem written by a popular poet by name Kali Gibra. He lived between 1883 and 1931. Kali Gibra, he lived between 1883 and 1931. Kali Gibra is called as a popular Lebanese American poet and artist. Why he is called as a Lebanese American poet? Why? Because because he was born in now Lebanon, an Islamic country, but lived most of his time in the United States of America. That's why he is called as Lebanese American poet. In almost all his poems, Kali Ibrahim, he writes uh, about the philosophy of life in a simple and beautiful manner. In almost all his poems, he writes about the philosophy of life. Jeevanada on the Siddhanta, Vedanta and the philosophy of life. He writes about the philosophy of life in a simple and wonderful manner. And his poems, his poems are called as poetic essays. His poems are called as poetic essays. Why they are called as poetic essays? Because uh, Khalil Gibran, uh, while writing the poems, uh, he did not adhere uh, to the usual versification. He did not adhere to the usual versification. Adhere means what? Stick on. Stick on. Versification means uh, writing a verse. What is meant by a verse? Verse antandre? Padya. Poem antandre. So thus, his poems are called as poetic essays because Kali Gibran will not stick on to the usual versification. He will not follow the usual rules and regulations of uh, writing a poem. He writes the poems in his own way and his uh, poems uh, have the quality of an essay. That's why they are called as poetic uh, essays. All the poems written by Kali Gibran, they are uh, published in a book by name, The Prophet. The Prophet is a collection of poets written by Khalil Gibran. The Prophet Anudu Idu Khalil Gibran Avara Vandu Kavana Sankalana Atle Idu Kavana Sankalana So thus the Prophet is a collection of poets written by Khalil Gibran. And this poet on children is an extract from this book, The Prophet. That means this poet is uh, taken from uh, this collection of poems, uh, The Prophet. Through this poem, the, uh, the poet, through this poet, the poet offers to guide the parents 
on the essence of uh, parenting with love. Much against Monday expectations. What's meant by Monday? Monday means ordinary, Samanya Vada So thus, in this poet, the poet guides the parents on the essence of parenting with love rather than rather than with some usual love or ordinary expectations. That means in this uh, poem, the poet tells the parents that they should uh, bring up their children with love and care, with love and care and they should not expect uh, too much from their uh, children. What do your parents expect from you? What do they expect? They expect you to become a doctor or an engineer or an IAS officer or a KAS officer. They also expect you to score highest marks in your second PC examination. They also expect you to crack JE, NEET, CET exams. Is it not? These are your parents' expectations. These are the expectations of your parents. Is it not? But in this poem, the poet tells the parents, tells the parents not to force the children to become a doctor or an engineer. Allow them to become what they want to become. Allow them to become what they want to become. That's what the poet uh, tries to tell the parents. They should not force the children. They should not force the children to become a doctor or an engineer or an AS officer. They should allow the children to become what they want to become. Because a parent may want his child to become a doctor. But the child wants to become an actor. What should be done there? The poet says, the parents, if the child wants to become an actor, the parents should encourage the children to become an actor, to become an actor. That's what the poet uh, tries to tell the parents uh, in this poem on children. Before uh, analyzing the poem, I have a few questions for you. So the first question is, what uh, do your parents, what do your uh, parents expect of you? What do your parents expect of you? I have already told you earlier itself that uh, every parent want their children to become a doctor. Is it not? Usually uh, they want their children to become an engineer or IAS officer or KS officer. Is it not? This is the usual expectations of a parent. Then the next question. What do you expect of your parents? What do you expect of your parents? You expect your parents to give you full freedom. Is it not? Full freedom in all the aspects. Is it not? That is uh, your expectation. That is your expectation. 
So thus, parents have their own expectations and children have their own expectations. So the poet, in this poem on children, tries to tell the parents that uh, they should not uh, impose their ideas upon the children. Instead, he says, children should be independent and they should be allowed to grow free. Children should be independent and they should be allowed to grow free. That's what the poet tries to tell us in this poem on children. First, I'll read the poem, see the text and follow. And a woman who held a babe against her bosom said, speak, speak to us of children. And he said, your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of uh, life's longing for it. They, they come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts. For they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. For their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot uh, visit, not uh, even in your dreams. You may strive, uh, strive to be like them, but seek not uh, to make them like you. For life goes not backward, nor tarries uh, with the essence. You are the goals uh, from which uh, your children uh, as living arrows uh, are sent uh, forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of uh, the infant and he bends you with his mind that his arrows uh, may go swift and far. Let your bending be, let your bending in the, the archer's hand be for gladness. For even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is a stake. In this poem, we come across that a prophet was addressing the audience. Prophet means what? In Islam, Dharma, Dharma Padeshaka, Dharma Padeshaka, Dharma Vanna Prachara Martaka Daha Vekti, Prophet Andar. So thus, in this poem, we come across that a, pro, that a prophet was uh, addressing the audience. When he was addressing the, the audience, a woman who was holding a babe. A babe means a baby, mogu. So that's uh, a woman who was holding a babe against her bosom. Bosom and the Yadeyabhada, chest and the So thus, a woman was uh, holding a babe against her bosom asked the prophet to speak to them of children. For that, the prophet started addressing the audience and uh, he started his uh, speech with a shocking declaration. With a shocking declaration that your children are not your children. He told the parents, your children are not your children. 
ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಹೇಳಿಕೆ ಗಾಬರಿ ಆಗುವಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಅಲ್ವಾ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದುವರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ should be independent and they should be allowed to grow free that's the meaning of your children are not your children that's the meaning of the sentence your children are not your children the children should be independent and they should be allowed to grow free parents cannot do not own them cannot own them do not own them who is the owner of the children then according to the prophet the god is the owner of the children the god is the owner of the children and he also says your children are not your children they are the sons and daughters of life the longing for itself they are the sons and daughters of life the longing for itself what's this what's the meaning of this longing that is uh, longing means prolonged need prolonged need that means uh, these uh, children they have their own aspirations they have their own dreams of their future future life they have their own aspirations and they have their own dreams of their future so their aspirations and dreams they are known as life's longing for its life's longing for itself the children or living for a cause the children are living for a cause that's why the poet says they are the sons and daughters of a life so longing for itself they are living with some aspirations they are living with some dreams allow them to fulfill those uh, dreams and aspirations later the poet says they come through the parents but not from the parents he says they come through the parents but not from the parents what does it mean it means that uh, the parents are only the biological means for the children to come into existence on this earth they are only the biological means parents are only the biological means for the children to come into existence on this earth children and parents they are chosen by god they are chosen by god and parents are just the channel are the means through which the children's life come into existence in this universe that's the meaning of the sentence they come through you but not from you parents that means parents are only the biological means are only the biological means for the children's life to come into existence on this earth now i have a few questions for you because in the final examination 
you will come across uh, one mark's uh, questions. If you have to answer that one mark's questions, you have to know every word, every sentence of your poem or your test. First question. Where did, where did uh, a woman hold a bay? Where did a woman hold a bay? What's the answer? The answer is against her bosom. Next, uh, next uh, question. What did the woman ask the prophet? to speak on. What's the answer? The answer is the woman asked the parent to speak of children. To speak of children. Next question. What did the prophet say the woman at first. What did he tell her at first? What did he tell her? He told her that your children are not your children. That's the answer. Next question. The poet says they come through you but not from you. Here, the words they and you refer to who? They and you refer to who? All of you know very well. They refer to who? They refer to the children. You refer to the parents. Who refers to the parents in this sentence? They come through you but not from you. Then, the poet says, of course, the children Live with the parents. The children live with the parents. But just because the children live with the parents, they do not belong to them. They do not belong to them. They live with the, they live with the parents, but they do not belong to them. They are the sons and daughters of the God. They belong to they are the property of the God and they belong to this universe. They belong to this universe. So thus, the poet says, though the children live with the parents, they do not belong to the parents. They are not the property of the parents. The poet also says it's the duty of the parents to give their uh, children their love and care. Parents have to give their children their love and care. They have to love their children. They have to care their children. But it does not uh, mean that uh, they have to impose uh, their ideas and the thoughts upon the children. It does not mean that they have to impose uh, their ideas and thoughts uh, upon the children. <coughs> Preet in the best way, Akkara in the best way. Hagatan bitto, 
ಅವರ ಆಲೋಚನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೇಳ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೇಳ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಅವರ ಆಲೋಚನೆಗಳನ್ನ ನನ್ನನ್ನೇ ಅನುಸರಿಸಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಬಾರ್ದು ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಮೀ ಟೀಚರ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದೆ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ಮೈ ಪಾಕ್ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ಮೈ ಪಾಕ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಲೌಟ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಫೀಲ್ why the parents should not impose their ideas and thoughts upon the children why because the children have their own thoughts have their own ideas have their own likes and dislikes is it not you have your own likes and dislikes so if i like mango others may not like just because i like mango i should not uh, force my children to eat mango is it not not only that not only that your parents want to want you to become a doctor but you don't want to become a doctor instead you want to become an actor so at that time the parents should not force the children to become something so thus the poet says the parents should not uh, impose their ideas and the thoughts upon the children why because the children have their own ideas have their own thoughts have their own likes and dislikes the poet says the parents may house their bodies but not their souls parents may house their bodies but not their souls what's the meaning of soul atma atma house house what's the meaning of house here that is uh, protect or give shelter protect or give shelter ashraya kodu athava rakshane maru antanteku so that the poet says the parents may protect or may give shelter to their the children but they cannot give shelter to their souls they cannot give shelter to their souls so their souls will be craving for something they will be craving for something and uh, parents cannot give protection now to their uh, souls so thus the poet says uh, the parents can now uh, give shelter to their children's bodies but uh, they cannot protect uh, their souls why they cannot uh, house their uh, souls because their souls that is uh, children's souls they dwell in the house of tomorrow they dwell in the house of tomorrow 
and it cannot be reached by the parents. It cannot be reached by the parents. What's the meaning of uh, dwell in the house of tomorrow? That means the children are our future. Today's citizens. So today's the children are tomorrow's the citizens. They have so many dreams of their future. So many aspirations of their future. So that is the meaning of uh, the sentence. Their souls uh, dwell in the house of tomorrow. They are living for tomorrow. They are living for future. They are living for future. In the future, they want to fulfill many of their dreams or aspirations. Thus, the poet says the parents cannot uh, house the souls of the children because their souls dwell in the house of uh, tomorrow and it cannot be reached by the parents uh, even in their dreams it cannot be reached uh, by the parents uh, even in their dreams Agari? Makkalu Tama Bhavishyada Bhagya Aneka Kansukalana Nirikshakalana Itkondirtar Hagari A Nirikshali Aurbaritthar A Nirikshali Aurbaritthar Adana Poshakaru Seradukya Aurbaritthar Aura Nirikshala Ara Atwa Aura Buriyana Poshakaru Muttaduk Aurbaritthar They cannot reach it even in their dreams. Our concern is that Poshkaru Makkara Guriyana Uttada Tavaruta. That's why they say that their children dwell in the house of tomorrow and it cannot be reached by the parents. Later The poet uh, says the parents should strive to be like them. The parents uh, should strive to be like them means children. Strive and struggle. Struggle and struggle. Struggle. That means what? That's the meaning of uh, this uh, sentence. You may strive to be like them, but uh, seek not to make them like you. Means parents should struggle to be like the children. To be like the children. If possible, parents should also learn from the students. They should not expect that the children should learn from them. Is it not? So, the poet says, if possible, if possible, the parents should struggle to be like the children. To be like the children. But they should not try to make the children like them. But they should not try to make the children like them. They should not force the children to follow their path. Parents should allow the children to be independent. 
and to take independent uh, decisions uh, also. Thalilili, Thalilili from Eeth Hinnadukke Praetna Padatna Yadar Eandre Sadhya Vadre Eee Poshakaru Makkala Reethi Yadukke Praetna Padatna Makkala Yadukke Praetna Padatna Makkala Yadukke Praetna Padatna Makkala Yadukke Praetna पोषकर इंदल नहीं मक्कल कली बेक बंद दे नहीं ला मक्कल इंदल पोषकर कली हवे की आदर्श तू पोषकर मक्कल अंते मक्कल रीति इरोध के प्रयत्न पड़ गए आदरे मक्कल तम्मरी तीर बेको अंत बाईस पार थाव नर्दा हाथी ले नरी बेको अंतनु बाईस पार so thus, the poet says, they should not, or the parents should not expect their children to be like them, to be like them. That means what? The parents, as I have already told you, should not talk try to impose their ideas and thoughts upon the children. They should not try to impose their ideas and thoughts upon the children. They should allow children to express themselves as individuals. They should allow children to express, express themselves as uh, individuals. Atadre, Poshakar, Makkala, Vettitovana Gurtiske. A Vettitva, Vikasana Guladuke, Tamasahaka Havana, Nilde. So they should uh, allow children to express themselves as individuals, as individuals, parents at any cost should not uh, force the children to be like them and to follow their morals. They should be independent, children should be independent. Why? Why it is so? Why the poet says that the parents should not uh, force the children to be like them? Why? Because life will not go back. Can we go back? Can you go back to your childhood days? No, never. Can I come back to your age? No, it's not possible. Life will not go backward. Life will not go backward. Instead, Life, uh, nor life uh, tarries uh, with the uh, yesterday. Nor life tarries with uh, yesterday. Tarries and then to stay with the. Uh, life will not uh, stay with uh, the previous day or yesterday. Life will go forward. Life will not go backward. Nor our lives uh, can stay with yesterday. Not our lives can stay with the yesterday. That's why the poet uh, says, that's why the poet says, the parents should not uh, force uh, 
the children to be like them. To be like them. Because life goes on changing. Life goes on changing. Hare Kandav Ritine Nivu Iri Anta Helva. How do that? Samay ke takkante nau badlaake. Madhi kanda lela, madhi kanda lela. Yella do. Is to chanaagi English patta lela. Yella do kana biriyamma school lele vatta idu. Adre yiga. Yaros ha. Tamma makkalo kana biriyamma school lele vodat kista pora dilla. How do that? Yella do English medium chala lele vod beki ga. Kya ke why? The time has changed. The time has changed. The time has changed. So, parents uh, should understand that. Parents should uh, understand that. And they should not expect their children to be like them and to follow their path. So many advancements now, have we made in the field of science and uh, technology? Is it not? Your parents were not learning through online class. Is it not? But now, you are learn learning through the online class. So, thus, time will go on change. So, we should also change according to that. Parents should not force the children to be stagnant or to be like them, to follow their path. Because life will not go backward, it always goes forward. Goes forward and our life, it cannot also stay with the yesterday. I think uh, this is enough uh, for today. I'll continue in the next class. Before that, I have a few questions for you. What the parents should give their children? What should they give to their children. What's the answer? The answer is the parents should give their children their love and care. Their love and care. Next question. What the parents should not try to impose on the children. What they should not impose on their children? That's the answer. The answer is they should not impose their thoughts or ideas upon the children. Next question. Where do the souls of the children dwell? Where do the souls of the children dwell? The answer is the souls of the children dwell in the house of uh, two. Is it not? The souls of the children they dwell in the house of uh, tomorrow. And next question. Why the parents should not seek their children to be like them? Why the parents should not seek their children to be? Answer is because life never goes back. Life never goes backward. 
No, it stays with yesterday. Now it stays with yesterday. That's why the parents should not force the children to be like them or to follow them. Okay children, see you soon in the next class. Thank you everyone.